If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. There are no shortages of bizarre methods of setting up anti-skating. Some people have suggested letting the cartridge skid across the blank record groove and eyeballing the speed of its movements. Others have used a mirror to cut the shape of the LP, and anti-skating is determined by watching the cartridge slide across the surface. In our opinion, none of the above methods have a direct correlation with what we're actually trying to achieve with anti-skating. Let's take a step back and see what we're trying to achieve. When there is too little anti-skating force, this force will cause the stylus to apply too much pressure on the left or inner groove walls, causing a higher level of distortion on the right channel. When there is too much anti-skating force, it will cause too much pressure to be applied on the right or outer groove walls, causing a higher level of distortion on the left channel. Please note that the force is not linear across the entire LP surface. Therefore, the optimal anti-skating force is only optimal at a specific point on the LP. The Analog Magic Test LP has strategically placed the anti-skating track at a specific location on the test LP, where we believe will result in a proper amount of anti-skating setting. Anti-skating will affect crosstalk measurements, which means it will affect the azimuth. If you are unable to achieve a proper crosstalk measurement, you may have to go back and forth between these two functions to find the optimal setting. What we want is for the stylus to exert an equal amount of pressure on both sides of the groove walls. This will be indicated by the same amount of distortions being measured on both channels. This is where Analog Magic believes the optimal level of anti-skating should be. Simply play the anti-skating test track on the test LP and use the anti-skating measuring function to determine the distortions between the left and the right channels. Perform the measurement with the different anti-skating settings until you find one which gives you the same distortion levels on both channels. Lastly, the anti-skating measurement may not always give meaningful numbers. This is because 12-inch tone arms with a stylus tracking force of over 2 grams usually requires no anti-skating. In such cases, you may not be able to find meaningful numbers. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to watch our next tutorial where we talk about setting loading and gain on your phono stage.